Coach, the Soul are on a five-game winning streak. What do you need to do to get a win against Philadelphia? Yeah, they're a good team. Uh, to win five games in a row, uh, you've got to be a really good team. And we know their coach very well. So for what we have to do going on the road, first and foremost, we have to take the crowd out of it. To do that, we got to limit these penalties. You know, that's been kind of our bugaboo this year that, you know, we just, we're leading the league in penalties, uh, which is just undisciplined football. Also, at the same time, we can't get ourselves in fourth downs. They have a really great defense. They're leading the league in interceptions. we got to put ourselves in, in, in very, you know, favorable situations so we don't get backed up and against the grain. We know they're good. At the end of the day, really short, we got to be perfect. I mean, that, that's just what it is. Uh, this is a team that probably, even though we're 7-0 and they're 6-1, and they probably will be favored because they're the ones at home, and I think this is going to be one of the biggest tests of the year so far. And how do you prepare the defense to stop a high-scoring offense? Well, yeah, you know, when you look at Dan Rodaball, the quarterback for the Philadelphia Soul, he's the reigning MVP of the league and the reigning offensive player of the year. So we know he gets rid of that ball quick. He's very decisive. Uh, we got to get to the quarterback, and we got to get to the quarterback fast. Uh, we think that we've done a great job in recruiting this year, and we'll see. I mean, we'll put it to the test. But, you know, at the end of the day, instead of, you know, getting pass breakups we got to get interceptions when the ball hits our hands uh you know if they get interceptions we got to get them right back we got to help our offense out by putting them in favorable positions but at the end of the day we got to do everything we possibly can to confuse disguise uh you know rattle dan rodaball because he's just a great quarterback and you know one heck of a person in this league and he's a great uh you know great uh instrument in clint dozell's offense and what are the challenges in winning when playing on the road well, look, first and foremost, you know, it's a different climate. Even though we play inside, I mean, we're traveling to Philadelphia. I mean, you know, it's cold up there right now. I mean, we're in 90-degree heat in Philadelphia, uh, you know, in Orlando. So going to Philadelphia, you have a different climate. Uh, you have a different, you know, just atmosphere in general. I mean, there's people that are booing you. There's people that are saying mean things about you. Uh, you know, you don't have the comforts of your own room. You know, you're in a, in a hotel. Uh, you know, you have a different roommate. You got to, you know, fly you know, fly a plane there. So there's a lot of things that are going in against your favor, especially when you go on the road. But that's what good teams do. You know, they're able to put that stuff aside. They're able to focus, and whatever it takes, even if we're playing in a parking lot, you're able to concentrate and focus on the task at hand, and that's what it's going to take to win this game. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this week. You got it. Thank you.